Today is December 18th. The body's completed. I have the lacquer clear on it. It's pretty much ready to go. So today will be all about frets and getting them sized, shaped, and pressed into the uh, fretboard. Then I can shape the neck. Once the neck's shaped, it's pretty much just up to all the finishing touches. So I might make my deadline, I think. Uh, we'll see. For the round over fret ends, I line it up first. I already figured out what this gap needs to be right here. So I gap it to there, to this edge, clip it. Then using the notch tool, whatever these are called, clip that notch, which is how that notch was created. And then that notched end gets rounded over with my little Dremel setup here. Boop, 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 boop. And then once that's done, whenever you notch this out with the tang clipper, that's what it's called, it leaves a little extra tang there and you have to file that off. I just use a diamond file for that. Then you repeat that 22 to 24 times, depending on how many frets you have. All right, so I have these all sized correctly now. All the little gaps here between the edge of the fret and the fretboard are as equal as I can make them. And it's looking pretty good. Of course, it all depends on if I get them set correctly as well. But for right now, I'm happy with my progress. Next though, all these little fret ends, I have to sand through the grits and make them all polished and ready to go because it's very difficult to do after they're on the fretboard. So polish the ends first and then I'll set the fret. So I'm on my final round of sanding or polishing the ends. I've already gone through these four grits. I'm on 2000 right now and just have all these to do. It's a grit for every end over and over and over again. It takes about two to three hours.
Here's the completed fretboard. Super happy to have this done. So the only thing left now is to shape this neck, get all the color on, put it together. And here's the current state before the neck is completely finished, but it's looking pretty wild. I love it. Hey, it's uh, December 22nd, getting really close to Christmas. Uh, this guitar is also getting really close to being done. Um, I may be able to get it set up in time, but also I may not because I don't know if I'm going to be able to set it up without my wife seeing it because she pops in and out of the my little shop space every once in a while. And I don't want to run the risk of her seeing it. Today, it's all about finishing the neck, which is the last major thing to finish. And then it'll be up to staining the headstock and just getting the neck oiled and some of that little stuff, the electronics, and then getting all the hardware on. So I'm really close. I have the next few days off before Christmas. So I think between everything, I might be able to uh, get it all at least presentable, like I was talking about before, if not playable. So we'll see. And if you've followed along this far and you've watched all these videos, thanks so much. I do appreciate it. It's the first time I've done something like this, a full build type thing ever. So thanks for watching.
Here we are, carved neck. There's the heel. Matches the curve on the guitar. And then I made a heart at the volute. Next, this gets color here, and I gotta recolor the edges of the binding. Some oil on the neck, on the back, and it'll be ready to bolt up and assemble. I forgot to start the video, so you get the after instead of the before. So here it is with the color on. Flame looks pretty cool. Are, the neck is complete, all oiled and polished, and ready to go. To say I'm really happy I left the wood natural back on the back. Oh, it looks really cool.